Hello students in grade 6, how are you? I hope you are all in a good health and staying safe at home. Today we are going to continue theme 4 that talks about matter and energy and we'll start with lesson 22 on the book that talks about chemical reactions. This lesson is related to lesson 21 that talks about transformations. Let's remember first of all some basics we took last time that matter can undergo transformations and these transformations are called chemical transformations when they lead to new products and the products are the substances that are formed at the end of any experiment. We'll start with the combustion examples. As you know that combustion is burning. For example, burning of a wood match or burning of a candle or burning of wood in order to make fire all these examples are examples on combustion we'll start now with the complete combustion reaction we'll take the example of burning of a wood match so burning of a wood match will give flame smoke and light Students, you have to know that in complete combustion reaction, two gases are always released. That are carbon dioxide gas and water vapor. So at the end of any complete combustion reaction, we have two gases that will be released. That are carbon dioxide gas and water vapor. The question is here, is there any products? Yes, of course we have products. What are they? They are carbon dioxide gas and water vapor. So is there any chemical change? First of all, do we have any change here in the shape of the wood match? Of course we'll obtain a change in the shape and the aspect. Is this a change called chemical change? Since it leads to a new product or a product, so we have chemical change. Now, students, open your books on pages 140 and 141 in order to start solving the exercises on the book. Remove a match from the box, observe it. What color does it have? Of course, it has a yellow to orange color. Rub her burning head against the surface of the box to ignite it. Observe the transformation that results. Complete. The burning of a wood match produces flame. It will produce also smoke and of course it will give us light. On page 141, make the following device. Place the funnel on the table. Introduce a reverse tube on the funnel. Take the surmounted funnel tube by one hand. Light a candle. Introduce the flame in the funnel. Let the gas escape into the tube. The question is, what do you see on the internal wall of the funnel and the tube? Take a look you will see that we have gas and water vapor or you will observe gases and these gases are carbon dioxide gas and water vapor remove the tube and add a bit of lime water what happens to the lime water what is the gas released since the gas released is carbon dioxide gas so the lime water will turn milky or cloudy cloudy Conclusion. In the first line, we have a mistake. So, cross this line as I did. In a complete combustion, only ashes remain. In this combustion, we obtain two gases that are carbon dioxide gas and the water vapor. So, combustion is a chemical reaction. Now, I read, I remember, it's for understanding. Matter can undergo transformations. These transformations are called chemical transformations when we obtain new products from the initial substances. Initial substances are the substances that we use them from the beginning of any experiment. For example, the initial substance here is the wood match and the products are carbon dioxide and water vapor. These are the answers for the two pages. Please pause the video and copy the answers. I hope you enjoyed. Goodbye.